Hello, my name is Brett Statham. Welcome to DevOps with Visual Studio and Microsoft Azure. Now, the goal of this video and the ones that follow is to help you sort of reimagine your development workflow using MSDN, Visual Studio, Visual Studio Online, and Microsoft Azure. And the hopes is that if you tie these tools together, you can create software faster, better, and with more reliability. Now, I'll mention that you can grab a copy of the slides and demos that I'll be using in this and subsequent videos using the links on the screen. I've got a GitHub repo. Feel free to fork it or just download a zip file with everything in it. Now, the agenda for this video and the ones that follow is that we're going to start out with just a big picture overview. We'll talk about what Azure is and various ways to gain access to it. And then we'll look at Visual Studio Online and see the benefits that it offers to developers. Then we're going to come back in the following videos and look at four specific scenarios, each of which can add a lot of value to a developer's workflow. We're going to start out looking at creating dev test VMs up in Azure. And that could be either on Windows virtual machines or even Linux distributions. Then we'll take a look at doing continuous deployment using Visual Studio Online as our source control repository, and then letting the build server in Visual Studio Online build our websites and deploy it up to an Azure website. Once we have a website running, we'll come back and take a look at monitoring a website using Application Insights. And then finally, load testing web applications using Visual Studio Online. So let's dive right into the overview. First of all, if you're not familiar with Microsoft Azure, it's Microsoft's cloud platform. And as a developer, there's a ton of things you can do in Azure. First of all, you can run your code in Azure. So that gives you the ability through Azure websites, virtual machines, mobile services, and cloud services to host your code and run it up in our data centers. You can also store your data. We've got Azure SQL database, as well as a variety of storage mechanisms like blob storage, table storage, and queue storage. And not to mention that you can add in third-party databases like MongoDB or MySQL. You can build virtual networks that allow you to connect the virtual machines running up in Azure to your own local on-premises networks, as well as vice versa. And you can let virtual machines connect to each other. You can authenticate your users using Active Directory or federation services that let you use third-party authentication mechanisms like Facebook and Google, Twitter and Yahoo. And then finally, you can leverage our application services. We've got a ton of things that allow you to do things in the cloud that would be harder to do on premises. Service buses, media streaming, biz talk, et cetera, as well as a whole host of third-party add-ons. And you're going to do all of that up in our data centers. Now, if you don't already have an Azure subscription, you can try it out for free. Simply go to azure.microsoft.com and click the green free trial link. You'll get 30 days or $200 of usage, whichever one comes first. We do require a credit card for sign up, but that's simply for identification purposes. Uh, there's a $0 spending limit on that free trial, so nothing will be charged unless you remove the spending limit. Now, of course, if you're an MSDN subscriber, you already have free access to Azure through the MSDN subscriber Azure benefit. How much Azure usage you get depends on your MSDN subscription level, but it goes all the way up to $150 a month of free Azure usage for Visual Studio Ultimate subscribers. Now, you get that usage for free, but also at a discounted price, which means you use your credits more slowly than if they were at the retail pricing. There's a link on the bottom of the screen there that you can follow to learn all about it. Now, if you don't have an MSDN subscription and you wish you did, you may actually be able to get one for free through a fantastic program for startups called Microsoft BizSpark. So BizSpark is a program for businesses that are developing software or apps. And yes, apps count. So if you're building Windows Store or Windows Phone apps or even iOS or Android apps, then you're an app developer and you could qualify as a startup through BizSpark. As long as your business is less than five years old, it's making less than a million dollars annually, and you're creating software or apps as a primary part of your business, then you qualify. You can certainly follow up with me to find out more about it, or simply go to bizspark.com and sign up today. So the last thing I want to talk about in this overview is Visual Studio Online. Visual Studio Online is a fantastic set of cloud-based resources for developers. You get Cloud-Based Team Foundation Server, or TFS. That's going to let you create unlimited team projects that do things like work item tracking and backlogs and bug tracking, as well as coming with a source control repository that can use either TFS's own source control uh, mechanism or you can replace it with Git. 
We also get a cloud-based build server, as well as cloud-based load testing. And then we can monitor our applications using cloud-based monitoring through application insights. Fantastic set of resources, right? Yeah, but what does it cost? Well, you actually get five free users in each team project. Right Now, if you need more than the five, you can purchase additional memberships using the pricing shown on the screen. But if the other members that you want to add to your team are also MSDN subscribers, then you can add as many of them as you'd like. You can have an unlimited number of MSDN subscribers in your team projects. Along with that, you also get 60 build minutes per month. So I mentioned there's a cloud-based build server, and when it runs, it consumes these build minutes. If you find that you've used them all, you can purchase more. And then we also have cloud-based load testing, and you get 15,000 virtual user minutes for load testing a month. And again, you can purchase additional as needed. There's a link at the bottom of the screen. Feel free to follow it to learn more. Now, if you do need to pay for additional build minutes or virtual user minutes or to add additional non and subscribers to your teams, the way that you do that is that you link your Azure subscription up to your Visual Studio Online subscription. And then through the Azure portal, you can actually monitor your usage for Visual Studio Online, as well as pay for additional members and build and load testing minutes. So this wraps up this overview section. I've got a few go-dos for you though. First of all, watch the videos for each of the four scenarios. And if you're a startup, you can sign up for BizSpark. And if you'd like to get in quickly, follow up with me directly and I can help you get an enrollment code to expedite the process. If you don't have an Azure account, sign up for a free trial or make sure if you're an MSDN subscriber to sign into your MSDN benefits and activate your Azure subscription. And then finally, create a Visual Studio Online account. Simply go to visualstudio.com and click the Get Started button. Now, I've got a ton of links here that you can use. Uh, the videos that I have following this are going to give you a brief overview of how you can do a variety of DevOps scenarios in Azure with Visual Studio Online and Visual Studio. If you want something more intense, my teammate Jeff Fadick has a fantastic walkthrough, uh, Continuous Delivery with Visual Studio. And there's a, a link to it there on the slide. Uh, and follow that and a, a much more intense walkthrough than what I'm going to be doing here in the subsequent videos. Uh, but there's a number of of other links there, feel free to use those as resources. And then again, I mentioned the subsequent videos, we're going to dive back in here and look at four different scenarios. First, we'll look at creating dev test VMs. Then we're going to come back and look at continuous deployment with Visual Studio Online and Azure websites. Once we have a website, we'll see how to monitor it using application insights. And then finally, how to load test our web applications using Visual Studio Online. So I hope to see you there.